computers. In this podcast we are going to look at the income statement, a very simple level. You may know this by other names. Some people call it a trading and profit and loss account. Others just call it a profit and loss account. The term income statement comes from the IFRS, that's the International Financial Reporting Standard. You however, can use whatever statement is appropriate for your course or the name of the statement that your instructor gives you. I'm going to use income statement. So, income then is money that comes into a business as a result of sales that are made or from some other activities. Expenditure is what the company has to pay out on and in general we understand that as long as income exceeds expenditure then the company or business makes a profit but if income is less than expenditure then of course the company is going to make a loss so if we take the simplest definition and say that if we take everything that we sell and look at the income we had from that and then subtract from that the cost of it then we are left with something called gross profit. Okay, so what do we actually mean by gross profit? Well, we start with the sales revenue here. In other words, how much money has come in from, say, selling goods. And then we have to look at what about the cost of the goods that we sold. Well, this isn't quite that simple. We can say that it's simply taking the cost of all the purchases that we made of goods to sell during the year. But that doesn't take into account the fact we may have had goods in inventory or stock as some people call it at the start of the year. And of course at the end of the year we may still have some inventory or stock left. So to get the cost of the goods sold what we do is we take the inventory at the start of the period add to that the purchase of any goods during the period and then subtract the inventory at the end of the period that will give us the cost of the goods sold right so if we then take the sales revenue subtract the cost of the goods sold that will give us the gross profit and that's what we mean by the gross profit so are there any other sources of income well the business can have other sources of income which would be relevant to the income statement for example, if it rented out part of the premises, if you are a business and you have large areas that are unused, you may wish to rent out that space and that would form other income. Then of course we haven't considered any of the other expenses which would affect the profit that we made. In other words, we can't just buy goods in and sell them, right? there are other overheads or operating costs and of these we've listed just a few to give you an example of what we mean by operating costs so we have wages and salaries rates electricity and gas phone and internet office supplies depreciation and any other expenses obviously for some businesses this can be quite large and of course it depends on what level you want to break down all your expenses but if we then take the gross profit we would add to it any other forms of income and then we would subtract all the other expenses all the other operating costs right and having subtracted all the other operating costs right we take all our income subtract all the other operating costs then we've got the profit or loss for the period before taxes if you then take the taxes you would have the profit or loss after the taxes okay so what happens to this figure well the figure that we get for either the profit or the loss will be the amount of profit or loss for the year if it's a profit then it could be added to the retained earnings right on the balance sheet so that basically is what our income statement is about. We take our sales revenue, we subtract from it the cost of goods sold to give our gross profit, then we add any other income that we might have received but, and then subtract all the other operating costs and that gives us our profit or loss for the period before taxes. 
if we then take the taxes off it gives us the profit or loss after taxes so there we are that's our simple introduction to the income statement or if the, what your course is using the profit and loss account if that's what you may come across it as thank you